Hey guys, this is Dab Snitch Mail. Are you aware that there is going to be version 15 of Wizzy Builder and it's set to release sometime this year? Well, yeah, there is going to be version 15 of Wizzy Builder and it promises a lot of great features and a lot of improvement. Let's take a look at some of these um, features. But even before then, if you're a new user or if you just purchased Wizzy Builder, that is version 14, you're actually going to get a free upgrade to version 15, which is very cool. And um, yes, new users get 25% discount on their purchase. And also, if you, you already use version 14, you've been using it for some time, you get to get a 50% discount for some time. That is that is very, very cool. So let's take a look at some of the features version 15 is going to come with. So the first one is direct 2D rendering. This is basically going to improve upon the way graphics displays and the application. So let me just delete this. There are instances where when you are working on a project where you need to zoom in to take a look at something, you realize after zooming in, it doesn't really look so great or your graphics doesn't really look so great. So this particular feature is going to take care of that for you. You don't need to worry about that at all. The next thing we have is shape dividers. So shape dividers, let's just take a look at the demo here, allows you to divide your project into various sections with some kind of cool design. So we have this triangular um, shapes here. You have this rounded edge and then you have these ones. Um, you have this and then this and then and so on. So this, this is actually a very um, cool feature. I, I, I can't wait to have to start using, being able to you know create some kind of dividers or add dividers and to your project, I, I think it's a very great feature in there. Let's continue with the rest of the features. So we have on Splash integration. On Splash is actually a, a stock site which has a lot of images. So integrating this into Visible Graveyard that means that you can directly search for images, your favorite images, and be able to include it and then use it in your project with ease. And then next we have preloaded. So if you've watched um, one of my recent videos on YouTube, it has to do with preloaders. So we're taking a look at how you can go about creating your own preloaders. Now, the great thing is you don't have to worry so much because preloaders are going to be included in Wizzy Web Builder version 15 where you get to add it to your project, which I think is very great. Then we have SVG path animation. So SVG is actually scalable vector graphics, which allows you to, you know, um, create some kind of more or less just like the way Jeff is going to behave. So this functionality allows you to be able to, you know, add some form of animation to your SVG graphics. So let's take a look at the demo here and see what I mean in here. So as you can see, all these are being achieved with a SVG um, graphic, which, which, which is very, very great. So let's continue the rest of the features. So the next thing is toast. There are instances where when you visit websites, you realize you get some kind of push notifications and pop-up notification. Those are being achieved with Toast. So this is what Toast is actually going to take care of. Let's just take a look at the demo so you get to see what I mean. So uh, let me just scroll to the bottom. When I hit on show, you realize the way that um, the Toast actually did appear. So this is the Toast. You can close it. And then um, when a certain event is met, it shows in there. So that is the tools. You can use this to achieve a lot of great stuff, be it um, displaying useful information as well as maybe for your cookie policy and, and so on. So that is with the toast. Let's continue to the next one. We have flip switch. So flip switch is going to play the role of um, radio button where the instances maybe have to choose between male or female when filling a form. You have the flip switch, either turn it to either male or female, either on or off, depending on the features or maybe depending on the information you are provided in there. So let's take a look at the demo so we see the samples that we have in here. So this is it, just like I was saying, you turn it to the left, to the right, and then you have different designs of the flip switch. So this is, this is a very cool feature in here. Let me just go ahead and close this and then continue. So we have wrap text. Um, I'm sure um, wrapping an object in text has been around for some time, but this actually has more improvement to it where you can include any form of um, shape or image or object at all. And then you still have it properly or neatly 
wrapped in the text so that is a very great feature in there then we have search engine optimization so there's one improvement that i am so much excited about which has to do with the annotations you being able to specify a particular language for for your website which 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 i feel is very very great google looks forward to that always whenever it is you know calling your site so that is a very great feature in there as part of the features that already exist with the page properties or in the meta tag so this um the seo has its own section where you get to specify for the robots and then you get to specify url for the canonical um url so yeah these this this is a very great um, feature in there and then we have web icons so this is basically allowing you to be able to specify different icon sizes for your favicon so favicon is basically this um icon we have in here at the stop section so you get to specify different sizes for um, different devices. So if you're on a mobile device, you get to see something different. If you're on an iPad or on an iPhone, you get to see something different. And these are the sizes which has even been specified for you know, the Apple devices in here. Next, we have the team colors. So the team colors is going to allow you to specify a couple of um, colors you are going to be able to include or create, um, have it in a form of a group. So that depending on what you are working on, you get to select a color out of those colors that you have created. So let's create some kind of, um, should I say, yeah, th this is a theme. So you have a collection of colors which are going to be created, just like you see in Microsoft Word, you have um, different themes that you can select the colors from. So th this is one great feature in there. And then the next thing we have is the rollover text. So this is one of my favorite features that I've seen so far where the rollover text appears in a form of i mean in different animations in here so we have this you have this feature you have this and then so on so this is with the rollover text which which is one great feature i've always been looking forward to so that's that's going to be available in version 15 of wizard web builder next we have accordion so accordion already exists in wizard web builder but this particular functionality allows you to have it in a vertical mode as well as a set some kind of um, animation or you know transition to it so let's just preview this and then take a look at how this is going to be so um, this is going to i think take care of itself so some few seconds just like you're seeing so that's that's how the accordion is going to you can add this particular functionality to your website project let's go back and then take a look at what's next so we have tabs so tabs is going to have some improvements um, to it as well as some added functionality here let's continue to the next page and see some of the things we have in there as well so we have the card container the card container is going to allow you to put a couple of cards together so that is going to be easy to go about it there are instances where you create a couple of cards and then you wish to have them together you always have to go about you know dragging them to where you want to have them you know in place but this time around you can have them together in case you are not using layouts grid which would be easier for you to go about if you are working with cards and you are using layers you can use this functionality to be able to you know have your cards together which i find very cool and then as part of the cards also you are able to create different columns within your cards and then you are even able to add css animations to to um, objects within your cards which is right about here that is this particular um, property in here so let's just take a look at one of the demos in here so just like you see in here once i hover over this we have you know different animations being set to the object in here so this is this is one cool feature which 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 i can't wait to start using and then we have uh, you can copy objects or elements within a card and then you can paste them in, in in a different card so that is that is very cool here and then you can justify text in your um, card object as well and um what else so we have um i think yeah one feature is also being able to add the html functionality to your card so the instances where maybe you want to display a map you want to display a particular object from a different you know website and then you had you have the code for it so you can place that particular code in your card using the html functionality in there and then you have um whatever you want to display in there being um you know showed to you so with the help of um, the html in there which we have in the card what else has been added to images so you get to specify different kind of borders but this has already been there with um, um version 14 
but this particular feature allows you to specify different kind of borders and be able to specify the sizes you want to have for the borders so you have a lot of borders to choose from so that's with the borders the image borders there and then we have background property so i don't um, i'm not really sure what this particular property is going to serve but i'm looking forward to it one other property has to do with the rotate property which allows you to be able to rotate object currently you can do that but you can do that with um, a particular or should i say property where you get to specify the property and then it shows you but with this one if you've worked with any kind of graphic software before you click on it and then you are able to rotate it to suit um, whatever you want to or wherever you want to have it rotate to so that is what this particular feature is going to take care of and in the object manager you can move objects on top of other object but when moving the object you get to see a thin line there showing you that you're actually going to play place this particular object in here or at on top of the other so that's one cool feature so there's an added feature which is called the asset folder so this particular property allows you to specify different folders where you want to keep different file types so if it is images if it is um, documents if it is audios and so on so that is a very great feature which is going to help you organize your project the next thing we have is the floating element you being able to rearrange floating elements if you under normal circumstance if you want to work or rearrange floating elements you have to right click on it and then either move to the back move to top in front and so on but with this particular option or functionality you click on it you move it and then you see a thin line just like we saw for the um, object manager and then in case you want to place it on top of the other you are able to place it there so that's a very cool property in there and then for forms if you are fond of creating forms from um, using the form wizard there is a functionality for you to be able to create a responsive form that is um, going to use layout grid so if you're going to be using this it means you should be creating your website in layout grid which, which i find to be very cool and then also um what do we have next so there are more properties for forms and then we have the bootstrap like form validation so the bootstrap is just the fill or the way that is going to display the error messages let's take a look at this so that i get to see it properly so once I come here and then I try to hit on send, you see the way it shows the text, it shows the console in here. So that's that's just basically how the bootstrap validation is going to look like. So that's just an improvement of the design. And then we have text. So there's been more improvement to the text on the line spacing. You've been able to add bulleted legs and then specifying numbers and so on. And then um, what else? We have images. You can include images in your project now. And then what do we have? We also have paste keep text only so what this is going to do is in case you copy the text which had some kind of formatting set to it and then you want to paste it at a different place but you don't want to apply that particular same formatting you get to paste it and keep text only and then it gets rid of the formatting so that is with that particular feature and then we have marker which is going to allow you to add some form of css animations to it and uh, let's just take a look at the demo which uh let's see so this is it just like uh, i think they should be coming in let me just refresh this and see how that's so just like you're seeing so that's how you see how smoothly it moves that's been done or achieved with the help of the css um css theory property or animation which has been added to it so in the style manager there's a filter property which allows you to filter um should i say effects or properties based on what you want so there's blur there's brightness, there's contrast, based on which property you want to filter them and then change the settings for. You can use the filter property in the site manager for that. And then we have this particular um, blur, is a blur background. Or uh, you've been able to change the background mode. Let's just take a look at the demo so you get to appreciate it more. Let me just close this and close this. So this is the demo. So once I click on this, you realize it changes. And I click on this, it changes. So if you're a graphic designer and maybe you have different versions of your project and you want to use or you want to showcase it the way you have it, you can actually use this property to achieve that by you know specifying different you know properties of it. And then once you click on it, it shows a different section of your project or your image. So that's that's with this. Um that's the say the filter, the background blur property over there. There's been improvement made to the flex um, grid 
and then also we have the layout grid now the layout grid has some added um features to it where let's just take a look at the demo of it i think uh, let me just take a look at this so there's one demo where you have a fixed um, footer in here which is very great and then we have another one let's just take a look at this as well i think that was what i so let's just take a look at this so this also looks great so this comes in fades in um it's actually in here once you scroll it gets to the top and it stays there so this is a very great uh, feature in there so with the layout grid and then also with a the meta tag there is an, a property which allows you to be able to specify your app wide in case you want to add your app ID to it so that's i think that's just about the features no these are not all the features these are just some of the features i'm sure there's going to be more of the features which is going to be posted here let's go to the third page and see if there's something in here so that's 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 all for now so just like i was saying version 15 promises a lot of great features and i personally can't wait to get it and then start using it so if you've been using WYSIWYG for some time just like i've been using it has actually gotten better over the years and it gets more fun with all these new features so if you haven't gotten it yet i think there's about a time you should be getting it and then be watching some tutorials or video courses to be able to go about it so that's just about it for this video if there are any more um, features i think i will be making videos to showcase those features to you and tell you about what they are basically going to do or what they mean so that's just about it for this video if you haven't subscribed yet kindly hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit the on the bell so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it thank you very much for watching bye for now